What's going on boys? Happy New Year's. Welcome everybody back to another video and another objectives guide. Now today EA have released a pretty nice objective if I have to say so myself. Headliners Felipe Anderson. Now if you guys don't know how Headliners works, I'm pretty sure if they can inform, they'll get, he'll get upgraded. And also if Lazio, the team he plays for, go on to win, I'm pretty sure is it four in a row, then he'll also get upgraded then. I mean, what a card this looks like. He looks much better than that Insigne, Adidas numbers up, and the fact that he's free is simply unreal if he was an SBC in my opinion he'd be a hundred thousand coins plus so it's actually crazy of EA to actually put him into is into you know to get for free via an objective now if you guys are new to these objective guys essentially what we do to go over all of these objectives I'll give you guys my tips and tricks I'll show you guys the game mode that you have to play it in and as well I will give you guys my tips and tricks I've got two or three tricks up my sleeve that I personally use to speed up the process as well I can all my hair boys I just got out of the shower so it's going like over my forehead it's, it's very very annoying but without further ado boys Let's get into it. Starting off, we've got scoring outside of a box goal um, in a win in a live foot friendly headliners challenge. That means you have to score an outside of a box goal, then go on to get that win. Now, with this one, what I would personally do, my number one tip for this, already giving you guys a tip, is message your opponent. You can chuck a pause straight away. You can press, I'm pretty sure it's square on the PlayStation, X on the Xbox, to see your opponent's gamer tag. Then download the PlayStation or Xbox app, depending on the console you're on, on your phone, and you can type in the gamer tag that way. Obviously, you don't want to type it in through a PS4 or Xbox because it will kick you from the game for being inactive. So type it in on your phone, message them, and say, do you want to go 1-1, one, one, right? I let you score an outside of a box goal, you let me score an outside of a box goal. Then when it's 1-1, one, one, then you guys can go on and you can play for the win, right? And whoever wins, wins. And if you don't get that win, then you just keep doing it until you do get that win. Because in that way, obviously, you guys both get a fair chance and outside of a box goal. Um, or obviously, knowing this community, if you do do that, then they'll make you like if I score an outside the box goal then they won't give you give you the same and they'll just play on but it's just a community and that if you find the right guy then he would be willing to help you've got assist five goals with a through ball using players of at least four star weak foot uh through ball is just why on the xbox and i think triangle on the playstation win for matches in a live foot friendly headliners challenge and score a finesse goal in 10 separate matches in the live foot friendly which is just right bumper plus shoot now let's go have a look at this friendly then we'll get into the squad builder and some more tips and tricks for you guys so if we go over to friendlies and go obviously play online, let's have a look what requirements are for it. I'm hoping there's no rating cap. To be honest, let's hope there is no rating cap. Where is it? Right, so max chemistry, I like that. At least seven leagues and at most one loan. That is actually awesome, max chemistry. So, boys, you can essentially just use your main team. I mean, I'll still build you guys a squad builder anyway, like with 25,000 coins. But if your main team has got like at least seven leagues in it, you can literally play. My main team has not. I've got La Liga. See, look, but the thing is, right, it's max chem. So I've got a Serie A player. I could literally chuck him there. That's a new league in there. Um, I've got... On my bench, I've got, uh, oh, like this right back. He's from the Portuguese League. So how much leagues am I up to now? Liga, Icon, Portuguese League, um, La Liga, Serie A. So I need two more leagues. So boys, you will just use your main team for this. We might not actually need a squad builder for you boys today. Um, See, so look, Eredivisie, perfect. And let's just say, hmm, let's try to find another league as well. So this is what you guys should do as well. Just search for your club. We've got La Liga, we've already got La Liga, we're already using Premier League, I'm pretty sure. Are we using Premier League? Um, no, we're actually not using Premier League. So what we can do, boys, is I could use like my Trent Alexander-Arnold at centre back, like that. Um, I could use this area of lad up front like that. And that should be the seven leagues needed. It is too, yeah. Simple as boys, and it is max chemistry as well. So obviously, if you do have a player like I do with my uh, striker, you know David Neres, it says he's on one chemistry, but he's actually you know on full chem anyway because it's going to be max chem. So boys, just use your main team and make sure you use at least seven leagues. But we will make a squad builder for you guys now, just a cheap meta squad builder uh, for those of you that may not have the facilities for a you know a good team. Right, boys. So what we've done, we've gone ahead and built a team. I know, obviously, just use your main team and get the leagues in, like I said in that first part there. But if you guys genuinely don't have a team or you are really stuck and you've only got like 30,000 coins, then here's a squad builder part of a video for you guys. We've got Premier League, Ligue 1, Serie A, Bundesliga, uh, La Liga, Eredivisie and the Belgian League. So we've got all the seven leagues. Um, remember as well um, it is max chemistry. So when you go onto the match, although obviously it says Bale's on free chem and Kunku's on two chem, it's a max chem game mode. So they will be on full chem anyways. Now we have gone for Gabriel Jesus at left striker with Werner up front. We've genuinely just gone for meta players from different leagues. Bamba at 
left mid we've got Zielinski, a very well-rounded card, and Nkunku as his box-to-box uh, -box partner. Bale at right mid with me Mayosa. I'm probably, I'm probably butchering that. At left back, obviously, is from the Belgian league. Tim Burt centre back with Joe Gomez, Fredericks, and Nick Pope in net. Now, remember, this is just a squad builder. It's only like 20,000 coins, and this is for those of you that you know are really, really stuck or just don't have a massively high budget, or for that matter, you might not even have a team. Now, heading into tips number one, boys, or tip number one, if you do go ahead and build this team, what you're going to want to do is just fill out the bench with the best players or best possible players you have. So you would fill out the bench and you can sub them on straight away. The bench does not affect the league's in-game as well. They need to be in a starting 11. Now tip number two, boys, let's head over to the review screen or the footman screen. It is going to be chem styles. For example, let's take Gabriel Jesus, for example. If you search him up in-game, he's an 83 rated gold rare obviously and he's currently 950 coins on the playstation 950 on the xbox and 1k on the pc now the beauty of footbin i'm not sponsored by them i do have to mention that i'm just using these guys as an example but if you were to chuck a hunter on him boom he goes to 94 pace 77 or 88 shooting getting a plus 7 uh, shooting boost and a plus 10 pace boost and now he goes to an 87 rated striker in game if you chuck a, a finisher chem style on him he's an 88 rated striker in game so although he's literally over only 83 rated with a correct chemistry style lads he's literally 88 rated in game he'll perform as if he's an 88 rated card in game so tip number one is just going to be chemistry styles lads you can use them on all different plays you don't have to go out and buy hunters or stuff like that check your club for chem styles i've got 370 on me um i've got lots of finishes there we go your chucker finisher he'll perform like he's an 88 rated striker in game and tip number two boys is going to be gold and gold now not everyone in this game mode will be doing gold and gold because obviously you need to focus on scoring that finesse shot but if you give that finesse shot goal and if you ask someone to do golden goal so essentially golden goal the whole golden goal rule if you concede first you'll pause and quit and if you score first then your opponent will pause and quit now this is a game mode where not everyone will be doing golden goal because they need the outside of the box and also they need finesses but if you want to commit to golden goal then I would say it's probably going to be better time, right? Because if you do get that outside of the box out of the way, you may have to play a couple matches. But then if you do golden goal, you could just try to get that finesse and do golden goal from then. And I know quite a few people will be wanting to do that. I would say it's around a 50-50 on who's doing golden goal and who's not. But if you guys are doing golden goal, my number one tip is just make your team name golden goal. So when you do load into the game and your opponent sees your team name, they'll know. All right, it's called golden goal. He's going to be doing golden goal. But do not name your team golden goal if you're then not going to do gold and gold because it's just a little bit toxic in it now obviously we're going to go back over the objectives so we've got the um the scoring outside of a box goal with that one right so you message your opponent let him score an outside of a box goal see if he does the same for you and then when it's 1-1 you guys have to play on for the win because obviously it's scoring outside of a box goal in a win or maybe if you do get a finesse goal you will find quite a few people if they score a finesse goal as well they'll just jam their controller if your opponent jams a controller or rubber bands it that is your perfect opportunity to take advantage of that and get that outside of a box goal um it says five goals with a through ball using players with at least four star weak foot Obviously, if you've got the players with a four-star weak foot in your team, then happy days. Um, I know the little team that I have built here, I'm pretty sure Timo Werner has got four-star weak foot. He does have four-star weak foot. Bamba has four-star. Zielinski does, and Kunku does not. Um, so, obviously, you'll try to get that through ball assist with Zielinski, Bamba, or Timo Werner, which should be easy enough. And as well, the next one, I'm pretty sure, will score in 10 separate matches with that finesse goal. As I said, the finesse goal, I mean, with, oh, no, it's, it's this one here. Win four matches, obviously. You just win those four matches and score it. A finesse goal in 10 separate matches. Now, with this one, it is, I mean, right bumper plus shoot, relatively simple, relatively self explanatory. Um, this is you can definitely do golden goal with, right? Because if you're just focusing on that finesse goal, you do get that finesse goal and you go one to up, your opponent might actually pause. As I said, that just goes into that golden goal type of thing. And if you are doing that, make sure to change your team name. Boys, it's been your boy Davis. Let me know what you think about this objective and are you guys going to complete it? Until next time, see you later.